Convertkit.com tutorial for beginners, formerly Convertkit. Hello everyone and welcome back. If you're someone that is looking for a powerful and a trustable tool for email marketing and for you to expand your mailing list, Convertkit, now known as Kit.com, is a great tool. It allows you to boost your business with amazing emails and amazing templates. It allows you to also use social media as a way for your business to expand. You can create forms, automations, newsletters, and much more. So let's get started with kit.com. Now to get started, simply head on over to kit.com and then click on start free trial. Once you do that, you're going to confirm that you are not a robot and proceed with account creation. So for this, we are going to enter our name, then we're going to enter our email address, and then we are going to choose a suitable password, agree to their terms of service. So I'm just going to do that once more, like so. And once I've done that, I'm going to click on get started. For some reason, this email has been taken. So we're going to use our other mailing address and we are just going to confirm our login on our device, which let me ask you to do. So we're just going to open up our mailbox here. And once we do that, we can just confirm our email address like so. Trust this device. Once I do that, this is going to open up ConvertKit. And just like that, our ConvertKit account has been created. Now, once we've created our account, we can click on manage email addresses to manage our email addresses. We have to resend the confirmation and then we're going to go back and I'm just going to wait for my confirmation email. And then I'm going to click on verify your email to verify my email address. And just like that, my account has been verified. Now we can actually proceed with ConvertKit. Now in ConvertKit or Kit.com, you can see on your top, you have options such as subscribers, create a profile, landing pages, and recommendations. Then you have your sending options, including email templates, snippets, sequences, and broadcasts. And then you have visual automations, rules, apps, and then you have products, tip chars, payouts, and paid recommendations. So to get started, first off, we're going to go into grow and then we're going to go into subscribers. And from here, you can start adding new subscribers or managing your new subscribers. You will see that you have your subscribers and you can actually click on add subscriber on the right and you have three options. You can add a single subscriber via their email address. You can import a CSV file or you can auto import from another email marketing tool. Now I'm going to add a subscriber manually. Let's say this is going to be Kelly and then I'm going to add the email address of the person like so, and then click on next. Once you do that, you have optional settings. So you can identify subscribers with a new tag and you can add this, you know, particular tag. So let's say I want to add this tag as my VIP customers. And once I do that, I can add it to forms, add it to sequences. But for now, I'm just going to add them as a singular subscriber. And now they've been added as a subscriber. Now, within subscribers, you have different ways you can categorize them, including segmentations, tags, and products. So you can click on create segment on the right and you can make a segment based upon the behavior your subscribers are exhibiting. So for example, if customers are VIPs, then it should manage a certain filter. So they should be spending a certain amount of money and you can select what that field is. Currently, I haven't set up my customization for that. So let's say within a country or region and let's say they are within the EU and this segment is going to be called my EU subscribers and I can click on save and add all the relevant subscribers over there. Then if you proceed, you can also create a tag. Now, what's the difference between a tag and a segment within kit? Well. A tag is a stagnant list. I can basically add any tag name and add any amount of people in a tag and label them with a tag, but it's not going to display any specific type of behavior. It's just going to be a general tag. However, segments can have altering people within them because they are symbolizing a particular behavior. 
Now, next up, we have our second section, which is our creator profile. This is personally more useful for people or individuals rather than businesses because it basically allows you to create your own identity. So you can add your newsletter or business name, your name, a byline, and you can add information. So a one-stop shop for all of your business subscribers to find your content and your product. This kind of works like a link tree and you have everything set up all together. However, I would say that some of the other features on Kit are a bit more advanced, such as their landing pages. So first we're going to explore their email tools and then we are going to come back to these two tools. So now that we've added our subscribers, we can go into broadcasts and start sending out emails. We can click on new broadcasts, but before we do that, it's basically the same thing as going into email templates. So you can go on ahead and use a pre-existing template or even build a new email template of your own choice. Now we're going to go ahead and start with a blank slate. So we're going to go into new broadcast over here and we have this draft and we have this template over here, which I don't want to use. I created this in the past. So we are going to build a customized template and we have Jane's businesses. Thank you. I'm going to click on over here. We also have the kit library, which has a bunch of different templates available. And I think I want to go with one of the kit library templates, replace my content. And just like that, this is the template that has been applied. So once I am satisfied with the template, I can start editing. So first off, I have this logo section and click on over here. We have the color, we have the information of the business. Let's say our business is called Lilies. I'm going to change it to that. Then we have an example link, which I'm going to remove. Then we have information. So let's say this is going to be our summer sale is live. And then below that, we can add a descriptor. We can click on this image section. And once we do that, you guys can see all information about this, but for this, we are going to type in slash. We have options just products, linking groups, icons, snippets, and much more that we can add. But if you want, you can, you know, directly add an image. If you don't, you can also delete a section or delete a column as well. But I'm going to move forward. And if you want to customize any of this, you can directly go ahead and start customizations of your templates as well. So once we have built our email, we can click on continue. I'm going to change the subject line to say summer sale and then click on next. And then from there, you can continue on with your email sequence. So you can send to email or publish to web. I am going to leave this as a draft and then let's explore some of the other features of Kit. Now you can basically build an email and then set it up in a sequence, which is an email automation where multiple emails are going to be sent at a specific um, timeline or in a specific order. So let's say someone first opens up your welcome email, then they would be sent a thank you for joining. Here's a discount email. Then they would be sent a shop with us email. So whatever sequence you want. You can also go into automate and build visual automation. So whenever a subscriber purchases an item, you can send them a discount coupon or a free shipping voucher. And you also can build rules and other apps can be integrated. Now, the best part about ConvertKit is that it's pretty reasonably priced when you take a look at the pricing of other email marketing tools that have such a strong suite of features. The pricing for their newsletter plan is $0 with up to 10,000 subscribers, one basic visual automation and one email sequence running, which is going to be pretty decent for smaller growing businesses. Then you have their creator plan at a thousand subscribers a month and their creator pro for a thousand subscribers a month, including unlimited visual automation sequences and users, as well as subscribers, engagement scoring, newsletter referrals, Facebook custom audiences, free recommendations, removal of all kit branding, 24 seven priority support, and much more. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe and if you have any questions or queries, make sure to leave those in the comment box down below. I would love to know what you guys have to say.